tradition goes back almost 120 years. The British featherweight title, once owned by men like peerless Jim Driscoll, the great Ted Kid Lewis, the brilliant Howard Winston, and our own Barry McGuigan. More recently, Paul Engel and Scott Harrison emulated those stars of other eras, moving on from the British title to world honours. But suddenly, the belts become harder to hold on to. Changing hands, not once, not twice, but three times in one year. Twelve months ago, Jamie McKeever enjoyed his finest hour, destroying a local rival in a memorable Merseyside derby. Just 12 weeks later, in his very first defence, McKeever's reign was over. And Roy Rutherford wins the British featherweight title. It's the night of his life. But Rutherford couldn't do much better. His reign lasted just six months before he lost on points to an old amateur rival. And he's given it to Dazzo Williams. Dazzo Williams is the new champion. So now Williams has to try to beat the jinx as McKeever returns from injury to try to make the belt change hands once more. Live on Saturday Fight Night, we could be in for a British title fight in the finest tradition. But will the champion Williams retain here or will McKeever regain the British featherweight crown? Either way, it has the makings of a real crowd pleaser here tonight. Both of these men deserve credit for making the absolute most of their ability, consolidating at this British Championship level. But the fascination is that both men have always been just a little bit vulnerable. Very exciting watching. Spencer Oliver is with us here tonight. But first, let's get a word from both fighters. And it sounds like both of them are really looking forward to it more than anyone. I'm a counter puncher. I can box forward, I can punch, I can have a tear, I can do all of it. I can even switch it if I wanted to. So I take it as it goes. I box when I get in there, I sort of just let it go with the flow. It's going to be very exciting, yeah, because Dazzo is an exciting fighter. He's an all out style fighter. I am myself, but you'll see Jamie McKeever boxing and outboxing um, Williams, and you'll see that Saturday, and everyone's going to, you know, see the difference. I think it's going to be a tough fight at first. I mean, I can make it tough as I want to be, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be the champion. It hasn't been another thought in my head for the last eight weeks since I knew about this fight that it, the British side was coming back to Birkenhead, without a doubt. You know, Spencer, you get the idea that these two would actually do it without being paid for it. How are you looking forward to it tonight? Oh, it's a really exciting fight. You know, both guys love to come forward, love to have a tear up. The styles make fights, and this one really is one to watch. McKeever's career has been something, hasn't it? He's come through some really tough fights, even going back to his four-round days in order to win the British title. So what went wrong in his first defence? Well, his first defence, you know, it all started off in the first round. As soon as he got into the contest, the contest the against Roy Rutherford, the then defending champion, Good luck to he hit him with a left hook. Here we see the left hook go in, and there was the suspected fracture of the hand. And it really just all went downhill from there. I mentioned his vulnerability, which has been a feature of his career, good and bad. And it did resurface against Rutherford. What did this tell us? Well, he got hit there again in the third round with a body shot. Took a lot out of him. To be, to be fair to him, showed that true lion heart in coming back well in the fourth round. And tell us, Spencer, what does it take to fight pretty much one-armed for the better part of 11 rounds in a British title? Fight? You know, Paul, I've been in contests myself where I haven't actually broken my hand, but I've damaged my hand early on in the contest, and it really is difficult. So you've got to take credit where credit is due there. You know, he fought for 12 rounds, but Rutherford really taking over there and, and, and winning that one quite comfortably. So, McKeever losing the British crown, and it's been a struggle to get fit since. But what of our champion tonight, Spencer? Did it surprise you that Williams beat Rutherford in Belfast? Well, it did. I mean, it, you know, Rutherford done a, a tremendous job beating McKeever, and this one was close. It could have went either way. With Rutherford being the champion, he thought he may have, he may have just kept the title. But Williams fought well, come on strong in the second half of the contest and just nicked it. But it was a surprise to me. I thought Rutherford would win it, but Williams really boxed out of his skin here. So on this performance from Williams, was there any sign that here at last we may find a champion who can improve, grow as champion and maybe even hang on to it for a while? Well, as we said, the title really has been chopping and changing. And, and this fight here with McKeever and Williams is another exciting one. And, and I wouldn't like to bet on who's going to win this one. I mean, McKeever lost his title under circumstances, did damage his hand. If his hand's held up tonight, then you know we should be in for an excellent contest.
Thank you, Spencer. Straight to our top of the bill here, live tonight for you. We're coming from Bridge End, and there is plenty of local interest on the bill here tonight, led by unbeaten Welsh heavyweight prospect Scott Gammer. He is live, look out for him later on tonight. But first, for the famous British featherweight title, our commentary team here tonight, Glenn McCrory and Adam Smith, after our Master of Ceremonies, John MacDonald. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday Fight Night's main event. Please welcome to the ring firstly the challenger from Birkenhead. It's Jamie Makiva. circuit fighter become a title holder when he stopped Tony Mulholland and was crowned British champion. And after a bruising first defence, it was gone. Uh, boxing cruel reality struck again. No marks on, he returns. And one thing we know for sure then, Jamie McKeever will surely give him everything he has. Well, he's got a big heart. And there's a lot of pride at stake for this one. So, you know, this is a, a young man who turned pro at 18, and he's got a, a point to prove to get his title back. Nicknamed Relentless, he is a joy to watch and a real crowd pleaser. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring the champion from Hereford. to the bridge end a sports centre here in the beautiful valleys of South Wales for tonight's championship boxing proudly presented for your entertainment Barry Hearn of Ringside Boxing Promotions in association with Prince Promotions and Matchroom Sport present for you 12 rounds of boxing for the British featherweight championship and the coveted Lonsdale belt all sponsored by PokerMillion.com for a great game of online poker. And a very warm welcome to our viewers joining us live and exclusive here on Sky Sports. You've joined us for the very best 
ringside seat in the business. Well, it's Saturday fight night. All the officials have been appointed by the British Boxing Board of Control Welsh Area Council here at ringside. Steward in charge and area representatives are Mr. John Rees and Mr. Brian Rennie. Inspectors, Harry Carroll, Ron Pavitt, Kevin Fulfall, Mark Warner, and our three medical officers here, Dr. Davis, Dr. Jones, and Dr. Gary. Timekeeper at the bell is David Waters, and referee in charge of the action from Gillingham in Kent is Mr. Ian John Lewis. They are the officials. Here are the contestants. And firstly, the challenger, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing the black trunks, trimmed with white, weighed at championship weight of nine stone. 20 fight record, 15 wins, five inside the scheduled distance, four losses and one draw. He's the former holder of the coveted Lonsdale belt. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, from Birkenhead, Lindlas, Jamie Akiva. And now it's a turn of the champion fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white trunks trimmed with black. Weighing in at eight stone, 13 pounds, three ounces, bringing an 11 fight record, nine wins, three inside the scheduled distance and just two defeats. He makes his first defense. Here's the reigning and defending British featherweight champion from Hereford. It's Dazzo Williams. So Saturday fight night. Sports fans, let's get the action on the way. 12 rounds of boxing for the British featherweight championship and the coveted Lonsdale belt. I the referee. I spoke to you both in the dressing rooms. Obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Watch the heads, kick the punches up. When I shout break, you break clean. And remember, defend yourself at all times. Shake hands. Plenty of time breaks have held this prestigious British nine stone belt. Neither Dazzo Williams or Jamie McKeever can be compared to the uh, legends like Kid Lewis and Jim Driscoll, Barry McGregor. But uh, in terms of sheer commitment, these two will give it their all. It's a genuine 50 50 pick em, which we hope will entertain and should then be fought at a pretty high tempo. Well, the styles should just gel right to make it a very entertaining matchup. Pride at stake because McKeever he wants that title back. He has been out of the ring for nine months. He fractured his left hand, Jamie McKeever, when losing the belt to Roy Rutherford. Literally fought almost with the right only throughout those 12 rounds. Will it hold up? Williams has the uh, skills, the height, the reach, and the uh, quick combinations, which will hope to pepper McKeever with. Both can be hurt, both have gone down, and both have uh, a lot of ambition. Well, early on, there looks a little bit of ring rust with McKeever, just struggling to get his, his timing right, get his, his shots on. Williams looks for the shot, but he's landing with that long, solid jab and the right hand over the top. This British belt, which has been a merry-go-round between these two and Roy Rutherford in the last few months. Can Dazzo Williams retain it? McKeever trying to close the distance down, but a little out of sorts and rhythm at the moment. He's getting hit of Williams, who's picking his shots the better. Straight shots and hoops. And it's Williams who looks the more confident of the two at this early stage. Yes, he does, standing tall, working fast. Looking for the right over the top. 
straight away. Kiba wanting the body as often he does. Jamie McKeever, slow start from the back of head man. It's banging there. Ian John Lewis says, watch those. But it's intriguing and entertaining this. trunks of the 24-year-old Jamie McKeever from Birkenhead looking to regain the title he briefly held. A slow start, but uh, will he come on strong now and uh, start backing up Williams and using his physical grit? Well, he's got to get that chin down, McKeever, start rolling the shoulders, get a bit of rhythm. And most of all, start letting the punches go. That's better from Akiva. Good defence from Dazzle Williams, who was the English amateur featherweight champion. Really good feeling about this one. Well, plenty of crowd noise. They're very excited to show you for both their men. Smile on the face of Jamie McKeever, who's trained for seven solid weeks, but he's having difficulty getting out of the way of some of these long arcing shots of Williams. And Williams just looking to throw those punches with some mean intention, really setting himself to let them go. Keep trying with the body shots. That's where there's a bit of a weakness, I think, with McKeever. Well stopped in three by Craig Doherty. Body shots there. McKeever was down against Roy Rutherford from the same sort of shot. Well, he's punching here at the moment, McKeever. Williams hitting and then getting on, on his bike a little bit. Sharp start this from Dazzo Williams, who's really fighting like a champion, and there's already a swelling underneath the uh, right eye of Jamie McKeever, who does mark up a fair bit. Well, Williams, who looks like he's got the, the better game plan, boxing his butt, his fight. He's got more authority in his punches. Little mark just by the left eye of Dazzo Williams. Obviously, giving him some discomfort. Just looks sharper all around at the moment, Dazzo Williams. He even needs something to get him into this fight. Good defense from Williams, then just moves along the ropes and out of harm's way. And around for the British champion.
that top cut that Nick Williamson. They've got a good man in the corner of Jamie McKeever, but he just hasn't settled, Glenn, has he? No, he hasn't. I think mainly because Williams has started so well and beaten them to the punch. He's just a little bit unsettled, McKeever. Steve Robinson, and they're just telling Dazzo Williams, you've got it. Keep it going. Keep it nice and solid. Here's the third round. This is where Jamie McEver went down to Roy Rutherford. The commentary man took the title. And then was controversially beaten by Dazzo Williams in Belfast. Already a better display from Williams than uh, I think we've seen before. Well, Ken McEver found the punch to get himself back in this fight. He is capable of that. But he needs to throw punches with authority. Oh, slashing left hook from Dazzo Williams again. And the uh, bad, bad swelling now underneath the right eye. Becoming a little grotesque that. And that's going to hamper Jamie McKeever, surely. Well, Williams has got uh, the extra speed and at the moment just bewildering McKeever. He just can't get going. Whether it's the uh, long time out of the ring, or just the uh, any confidence now that Dazzo Williams has brought. It's the weight factor really coming up to featherweight. Williams has been operating at super bantamweight as well. Akiba has to grind his body now. Good boxing this from Dazzo Williams. His hands up as well whenever McKeever tries to come forward and let his punches go. And just guarding up with a, a jab and then away Williams. Just making it so hard for McKeever to cut the ring off and get to him. Defense very good for Dazzo Williams, keeping his elbows tucked in to block the body shots. Switching to southpaw. There's an arrogant feel about the way he's doing this so far. Again, the left hook. He's too quick at the moment. He is at the speed that's doing it. He's slashing punches, really marking up the face of McKeever. That left hook a little bit open block, but he's still getting through. Williams, but don't count out McKeever. He's been in wars before, and he's got a great amount of bottom and heart. Well, it looks like he's gonna, gonna need it, because really, Williams looks so determined. It's a terrible start for Jamie McKeever as he attempts to regain the British Nine Stone belt. Tony and John Carroll there, what do you tell him, Ben? Well, he's got to try and sharpen up. He needs to take the play away from Williams a little bit, but one of the first things he's got to tell him is just tighten your defensive, get your hands up. He's taking far too many left hooks, and that's the, the big problem Akiva's got. He's very loose, very slack, and the punches getting through too much. the fourth round real intensity about this one the 29 year old from Hereford only in fight number 12 he's learning the professional game Dazzo Williams as he goes along plenty of talent and he's really starting to enjoy this against a ring rusty and uh, slower Jamie McKeever than we've seen before better for McKeever as he tries to get closer. Good left hook, whipped in 
to the body of Makiba from Dazzo Williams. But this is where Makiba needs to fight back. He's allowing Williams to have too many shots off. He's got to start throwing them as well. He says he's improved two goal under the uh, tutelage of Steve Robinson. Dazzo Williams. He travels miles to the Welsh Valleys to train. He said he'll do anything to get off his fruit and veg stall. Desperate to cling on to this British title and build upon it. Showing good defence as well, getting the elbows in, stopping the body shots, the hands nice and tight round the chin. Williams. Tries to force out that jab, really, Makiba. Does it look relaxed? There's no rhythmic feel to his work. No, he looks very, very stiff, doesn't he, from the, the waist up. There's not a lot of movement, not a lot of looseness. That chin and head almost static target. It's been comprehensively outboxed at the moment, Jamie Makiba. Williams growing in confidence. And Williams really got the, the bit between his teeth at him. He's enjoying it. That's the difference. It's hard work in there for Makiba. It looks like he's really up for really enjoying what he's doing, Williams. Absolutely. Against Roy Rutherford, it was a, a real tussle against Stephen Chinnock as well. Dazzo Williams didn't have everything his own way. It's now up to Jamie Makiba to try and reverse this and break the Williams rhythm. Well, so far, Williams has beaten him in every department. Again, Makiba throws in the mid-air. Terrific start from Dazzo Williams. So fluent. Already slight panic station is over in the blue corner of Jamie Makiba. Bad swelling under the right eye. And, uh, look at the other corner and the headshots landed. 73 to 29 in Williams's favour. He looks like a newborn fighter since becoming champion. There's an air of authority. Boxing brilliantly. Well, that, that happens to a lot of fighters. You know, they get that lift and they realise what they can do and they they really bring them out of their shell and they become much better fighters. And that is what's happened to Dazzle Williams. This is the 105th round of Jamie McKeever's professional career, which started when he was young at 18. And now he needs to really put some sort of dent into the Williams makeup, who continues to whip in these shots with ease. Well, first 15 seconds, McKeever come out to make an impression and stamp his authority on it. But Williams just taking over again the big left hooks, catching Makiba at will. And the defense of Makiba is very, very poor. Get the chin down and the hands up. Hands are down of Makiba, and often an open target. Look at the state of their faces, both of them. Compare that. Well, uh, the referee's going to watch that eye. That's a very bad swelling. That's going to hammer the, the vision. And he's not going to be able to see more of those left hooks. You can't see more of them because most of them are getting through anyhow. Yes, Chris Eubank had a big swelling under his eye that uh, curtailed his brave challenge at Carl Thompson a few years ago. Will 
that get worse and worse as the speed and accuracy tonight of Williams has impressed. Williams playing with McKeever at times, switching to Southpaw and just dangling that right glove in his face. Checkered career, Jamie McKeever. He's had his ups and downs and wars with uh, journeyman fighters really like Sebastian Hart. Is that a dig dick to come through those? But maybe he had his great night in Liverpool when he won the British title. And it all seems very hard for him in there tonight. We still have to watch the heads because they bang together now and again. And be a shame when he's boxing this well going to pick up a cut. That's a, a grotesque swelling that's coming up under the eye of Jamie McKeever. Yeah, and shutting that right eye. And he's not seeing some of these left hooks, I don't think. I wonder if the uh, Carols are having a look at Jamie McKeever. A little bit more on in this week. There's nothing from the first bell has gone right for him. Next week on Saturday Fight Night, we're in Glasgow for the former British and now WBO World Featherweight Champion Scott Harrison's defense of his crown. New opponent, Walter Estrada of Colombia. That's live from Glasgow next Saturday night at 8 on Sky Sports 1. British featherweight's title in the fine tradition tonight. Absolutely, Paul. But at the moment, it is one-way traffic. It's all Dazza Williams. How much has come on from... Uh, winning the British nine stone bout. What can Jamie McKeever do? Is there anything? Is that eye too bad? It is swollen up horribly. Mick Williamson has been working on it round after round. And uh, it must be getting so hard for him in there, especially vision-wise. Well, also he's got to be running out of fire and he's been hit at will McKeever and you know, he's trying hard missing with a lot of punches but how much can he take of this before the will runs out the left hand does seem to have held up the one he fractured Jamie McKeever he put an operation on uh, standby so he could have this chance Styles make fights and at the moment Dazzo Williams has everything to deal with Jamie McKeever. Defense has been excellent for Williams. It's been good. McKeever just trying to take it up a little bit. Williams tucks his arms by his side and then comes out throwing a lot more punches. It's his determination. I'm impressed with that. And you know, he really means it, he wants it. Right hand from McKeever. Rare success. This was the round that he uh, won the British title against Tony Mulholland. And some great fights, Jamie McKeever, but they have been hard. Williams, who follows it up with a 
tip-tap body shot combination. Kiva digs in. He has hard the Birkenhead man, and he will not give up until it is really all over. No, even got just a long break. Carving composed okay. in Williams' okay. corner. Right. Yeah. yeah, we'll get them there. We're not, we're not Trying to encourage him. There's the good defence from McKeever. The old one getting through. McKeever had a, a bit. Bet around. Well, Williams just keeps coming out of that defence with a bet of punches. Even if he has to take one or two, he's still coming back firing with a meteor shot. the British champion in his first defence, Jamie McKeever, hoping to regain the title, but he's a mile behind, surely, on uh, Ian John Lewis's card. It's been a, a traumatic one, really, for Jamie McKeever. But Williams does occasionally go through lapses in the middle round. Stephen Chinnock gave him a hard one at about this sort of time. So will that give McKeever hope? Well, he's still got to keep this sort of punch rate up, Williams. He can't afford to slacken. McKeever's got about every member of the avenue up in Birkenhead screaming for him there on the feet, trying to push him on. That's his local. Yeah, there's about 60 or 70 fans alongside us making an unbelievable racket. Tremendous atmosphere here at Bridge End. They're willing their man on. But Williams, at the moment, will not be denied. What do you think of this switch to Southport? Well, it's worked. It hasn't been anything of a special shot. He's done it every now and again. I don't think he'll get away with it with every fight that he's in with. But it's worked well against McKeever. Does that when he wants to buy a little bit of time, get on his bike. He switches to southpaw and moves out of the way. He's been smiling almost throughout this uh, contest. That's like Williams. Doesn't want all that good work to go out of the window with something careless. Because while McKeever's still there, he's got that outside chance. Could be a problem for him if McKeever catches him solid. But I think this is what we're seeing is the mark of confidence. And now he thinks he can play with McKeever. Let's hope that's not his undoing after such good work. I'm sure a sensible, level headed man like Steve Robinson in the corner will be doing everything possible to tell his man not to get careless. Box quite beautifully at times, but Makiba still looks fairly strong and is at least getting closer with those hooks. Well, let's uh, join Ed, who's got the former British champion Roy Rutherford with him. Well, Roy, are you surprised at how dominant Williams is? Oh, I'm very surprised about the dominance, what he's doing there, but I just think that Jay McKeever is um, he's struggling at the weight, definitely. He just hasn't got the same speed, he hasn't got the same termination, going in there, throwing his shots. It just doesn't look the same, compared to when I was fighting him as well. I mean, I fought both the guys, but I really fought him a lot more close than this, but I think, um, you know, good old Dazzo Williams is uh, up in the head and he gives me a good chance to uh, 
get my rematch with him, you know what I mean? <laughs> Can Makiva do anything to get back into this fight? I can't really yeah. see because he just hasn't got the energy down there, you know? It just seems so weak. You know, he's hitting everything he wished to do, so... I wish him the best anyway, but it just seems like a really one-sided fight. Right. No energy, weak at the weight, says Roy Rutherford. It's pretty much been that, it looks like, but... Uh, Switched off a, a touch Dazzo Williams in that last round, and uh, will that give McKeever some sort of confidence? Well, it might have thought that was McKeever's best round. Williams just moved and ran and talked out that jab, which wasn't really a, a scoring self-court jab. And that was the first round I actually give to McKeever. So, to me, he might find it a little way in now, if Williams is just starting to tire. Oh, left hand from Dazzo Williams, just... Uh, Kiva momentarily. I'm sure Roy Rutherford would love his revenge on Dazzo Williams. He outboxed Jamie McKeever and thought he got the decision over the Hereford fighter as well. Deserves his chance, doesn't he, again? Well, I'm sure he'll get it. But Williams just has to finish this job off and do it in style. Still working the body and flicking between the uh, southpaw and orthodox stance, Dazzo Williams, but uh, slightly less coming from him. He's looked for the body shot, Williams hasn't really landed that flush. I think he wishes he could get a left hook into the body of Makiva, who again is just starting to build up and getting through some decent punches. Yeah, right hand picked through about 15 seconds ago and uh, the wry smile on Williams' face is a slightly different one than it has been through much of the fight. It's just a sense Williams losing a little of his sharpness as he starts to tire. This is allowing McKeever to get that bit closer and to connect with more shots. Only got five stoppage wins on this fight, Jamie McKeever. Not a thunderous puncher by any stretch of the imagination. But can he wear Williams down? And McKeever, he had a problem of looking through that right eye, which is almost closed shut, just a, a little slit to see his opponent through. And he's fighting through much of this with uh, one eye, like it is with one arm against Roy Rutherford. Not ideal. Not as accurate anymore, Williams, but still getting through with plenty of punches. Not that one well, McKeever. But he can't see the left hooks coming to his head. That's the problem. Scott Harrison defending next weekend and Michael Brody has the rematch against Injin Chi, Nicky Cook going for European honours and there's sort of four or five of them including Stephen Foster who became English champion last week who uh, could all fight each other and entertain us for the next couple of years. Well it's an interesting division isn't it? This middleweight one at British level and there's plenty of good matches out there and this one is turning out as we thought it's very exciting with McKeever just making a little more impression still the boss plenty of punches have been thrown the more accurate work has come from Dazzo Williams who looks on course to retain his uh, British featherweight title in the white shorts called Dazzo, real name Darren Williams, but there was a uh, pro under that name already when he turned. Goes by Dazzo. Brought up in London, lives in Hereford now, and uh, got a big fan base in Wales.
stuff the body quite well enough but terribly stiff early on and rusty now that left hook just keeps getting him Adam that head has been pretty much held in the same place all the time and Williams has done it pretty easy to tee shots off especially the left picked up his work again Dazzo Williams confusing McKeever with the uh, jabs with both hands from both stances that's a decent right over the top from McKeever who's still in this and maybe you wouldn't have thought that after the first five rounds just misses with a wild punch Williams trying to get the left hook to the body on but still ineffective still not getting it right in there Williams tell you something Jamie McKeever is never in a dull fight he uh, really is a real tough customer who just won't give up well he's been in a lot of tough fights but he's, he's only 24 you don't want to be in that many when you're that age, it doesn't board well for a long career. They thought when he lost to John Kelly and was knocked out by Craig Doherty, he may not go anywhere near a British title, but credit to him, he turned his career around. But he's got to find something different here if he's going to regain the title he had. Nice work from Williams who switches, moves around, gives them the angles, and comes back with the punches. Maybe not a lot in them, but they're effective and they're scoring. Boxing like a champion. Yeah. Dazzo Williams and the jabs landed almost double back from the south and orthodox. There's the one with the first post. That's his right hand. Just moving away from the left hook of McKeever. Just flicks it out, but it's enough to keep McKeever off balance and unsettled. And to set McKeever up for better punches, which Williams keeps going throwing in. Don't swim, but I didn't get a shot. Uh, left hook down there. Come on, buddy, you can do it. That's Chris Card, Seba, Badazzo, Williams. Jamie McKeever surely needs a knockout now. He's got nine minutes to find it. He hasn't really been able to see much out of the right eye since the uh, second round of this fight. Dazzo Williams has used his boxing skills and brain and his uh, newfound confidence as the champion to uh, be winning this and winning this round. Well, a little charge there from McKeever, who's starting to get frustrated at his lack of success. As you said, Glenn, he, he gives us clashes, but... Williams tucks up and uh, seems to weather the storm each and every time. Well, he's got to keep trying, he's got to try and find a gap in the defence, he's got to try and get a shot on that will make an impression, something that could change this fight around. Those Birkenhead head faithful, right by us, are winning him over, that's a lovely uppercut, and a following body shot from Dazzo Williams. Got a nice little touch of variety there from Williams. Oh, he's so brave, McKeever. But is he just too brave for his own good sometimes? Outclassed here by Williams. McKeever gets through with a left hook to the body and head. Accuracy. 
Tom Williams was the eye catcher. As McKeever tries to pile on the pressure. Look at him really gritting his teeth. But is it having any effect? Well, it's not the guard is very good. He tucks up tightly and then comes out with a barrage of punches to take the eye and see. That's how it should be done. at a high tempo it has indeed real intensity electricity in that ring they may not be world beaters these two but uh, they are giving it their all as we knew they would McKeever has some success Tremendous switching the punches around the right hand side up the middle and then one with the left. Kiva, dogged determination, keeps on trying, forcing Williams back to the ropes and pushing weight, but tucking up well, Williams. Jamie Nakiba has tried everything he knows. And Dazzle Williams has been a step ahead all the way. Can you believe he's only won nine professional fights until this point, Williams? Well, boxing with a, a new confidence of a mature professional. Now he's won the, the British featherweight title. He's got under six minutes to stay cool, keep that defence tight. Keep McKeever at bay and ease his way home because this is the dangerous part. All the good work's done and he continues to produce more. Right hook to the body and left hook again to that problematic eye from Dazzo Williams. Still retaining the speed this late on in the fight as McKeever valiantly tries to fight back. Well, he's putting on a very good show, Denzel Williams. Much better than his last fight in winning this title. It really has been the, the making of a man. As the Irish fans, the Kings Hall booed the decision when he beat Roy Rutherford. I don't think the uh, Welsh fans and even the Birkenhead people will appreciate Jazzo Williams should he stay on course and retain the title. He's boxed extremely well beyond all expectations. And look how relaxed he is in there as he peppers McKeever again. He's obviously worked very hard. He's done his preparation. Williams, he's wanted to make it an impression in this fight and he's certainly doing that. Walked on the one there from McKeever though. But he comes back with five six. Rocking to the head of McKeever, who's got blood from the nose, swellings on his face, and yet still he fights through the pain. But he just doesn't have the answers, does he? Can't find a way in, can't find a punch to make a dent. He almost did there, slipped on the uh, advertising hoarding, Dazzo Williams. And Angel Lewis, a 
obviously caused no knockdown. And just got the, the feet tangled a little bit there, trying to move away from the Kiva. The Kiva's worked well in this round. Some good shots inside. Right right up from Jamie McKeever, but accuracy in the game from Dazzo Williams. It's our son. Yes. Fucking hell, don't be happy, I'll be. It's a pinch of the day. Visa's pie Go on, get some in that, that corner. Some punches some land. If you see, Williams has got through with far more than they've been caught in. Yeah, he's really relaxed, throwing the shots. Yeah, a good finish. He just dropped off the pace a little bit in that round. Still got through some good shots. Allowed the keeper to work him inside. British champion and is around the way from keeping hold of that prestigious Lonsdale belt. It looks like he wants to finish the short. Dazzle Williams, good punches going in, but the short is in the bounce of a man who knows he's close to the finish. Tony and John Carroll look very, very dejected man in Jamie McGeever's corner, but they can be proud their fighter because he's uh, been out of the ring for a long time and he's had that bad bad swelling from so early on in this fight but he's kept going and kept trying well, he's got to hand it to McKeever for that he's doggedly kept at his job still is in the last round only to be caught with a punchy left hook from Williams the question whether Dazzo Williams was uh, a lucky British champion. Maybe he was winning it. No luck about what he's done tonight. He's produced a display of skills that make him a worthy title holder. He's trying to pump the arm inside the, the guard of Williams. It's a side leg left hook that Williams comes out with.
depends on everybody wants. And he's won it. It's also a step to bigger money. It's a big fight. And he's, he's really come on from that and proved it in a wonderful display here against Jamie McKeever. Look how many punches. Right, he's at 1,300. And he landed with a success for Dazzo Williams. Almost through the entire fight. Never to go anywhere than McKeever into it. It was much more accurate than McKeever kept working away. But it was the accuracy that told in the end. Well done to Dazzo Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has asked me to ask you to show your appreciation for 12 of the most wonderful rounds of boxing. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the referee pointed out that during the 12 rounds, he never had to say break once. I think we witnessed the fight of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee scorecard reads, Makiva 113, Williams 116, the winner, and still the British featherweight champion from Hereford, Dazzo Williams. Seven and ladies and one gentlemen, one stay on your feet and appreciate the one and only Jamie Makiva. It might take a good man to separate that belt from Dazzo Williams. Tremendous action here. Both men can be proud of themselves. That will be scant consolation to the loser, McKeever, of course, but both can be proud of themselves. Lots more fine action to come here in Bridgen tonight. Live young Welsh heavyweight hopes, Scott Gammer against James Zickich. That's coming live shortly. And keep an eye out as well for a memorable lightweight fight here tonight between Gary Hibbert and Dean Phillips back on the scene. Spencer Oliver, you were looking forward to it. Did it live up to your expectations tonight? Absolutely, and, and even more. I mean, tremendous contest. We knew both come forward fighters. It was always going to be exciting. And they're both, you know, tremendous respect and hats off to them both. Both pulled their hearts out. Right result, but tremendous contest. Well, they're on their way out to join... Adam Smith here, both of them, and in the best tra traditions of this British featherweight title, the best traditions of British boxing, the best traditions of the sport, they're going to sit side by side and tell Adam how it was in there. Fabulous fight. Congratulations to both of you for giving us such an intense encounter. Dazzo, first of all, you box with a new air of authority as champion, it seemed to us tonight. Yeah, it's, uh, it's made me realise like, I've got to work hard for this. I mean, it's hard enough to get it, and it's, hard, it's even harder to keep it, and uh, it's hard. And I knew McKeever, he's a tough lad, I've seen tapes of him, and he, I knew he was he's his last crack at whip, and I knew he was going to go for it. And you were flowing, though, with your shots and your accuracy. Yeah, I knew, I knew McKeever was a come-forward, strong, gritty fighter. He's got a lot of bags of art, like, I mean, uh, I knew my boxing skill would be better of it. I'd have to get, I couldn't get involved too much, because I know he's, he can stand there and he can trade, so I had to use my boxing a bit of ability. Jamie McKeever, you always entertain us. You're never in a dull fight, but you had a difficult start with the eye, and you look slow getting going. Yeah, um, I don't know. I mean, the weights, I had to get a bit of weight off in the last minute. Uh, I don't know whether it's, you know, the feather, I'm growing out of the featherweight division a bit. It's a bit hard to make it now, but um, the hat goes off to that. Now. So he boxed a great fight. Um, you know, he raised the pace and that. He, he boxed very well, and, you know, he come on leaps and bounds since his last performance. Isn't he? Box very well, and it's in me. I talk to you. Tell me something, what makes you in rounds 10, 11, and 12 of fights like that still go forward <laughs> with your relentlessness? <laughs> Stomach drinking in the corner, I tell you. <laughs> well, I don't know, I've got, I've got a good heart, I don't know if everyone will agree. I've got, to, I've got to just a fighter's heart, you know. I never give up, but now, 
And um, I just, I've got the will to win, but tonight he was the better man, and I take my hat off to him. He's a nice man, and he deserves everything he gets. Great to have that respect. Dazzo, you feel you've come on from this and can go on to bigger and uh, better things. You've retained the title in this merry-go-round of late. I know, there's a bit, it seems to be a bit of a jinx on it, and I've, I've been having thoughts about it all the time, and I thought, oh, I don't need it tonight. It's a jinx on this belt, but I've broken the spell, and I hope to keep it like that. You threw over 1,300 punches, a cracking fight. Congratulations to both of you. Yes, they have both honoured the British featherweight title and its history. More from Spencer Oliver when we come back. And our next live action in the ring here shortly will be at heavyweight, Scott Gammon against James Zikic. Listen, Chris. Live action from the Premiership coming up for you on Sunday, 11.30 a.m. start time. It's Leeds against Liverpool on Premiership Plus. For further information on how to order this match, Sky Digital viewers, please tune to channel 433 and follow the instructions. Jamie McKeever has done Liverpool proud tonight, but in a break with the recent tradition, a British featherweight champion has retained the title, Dazzo Williams. Spencer, you asked beforehand tonight whether Williams could consolidate and improve on the night that he won the title. Did he show improvement tonight? I think certainly did. You know, he boxed with good speed, he had good tactics, boxed on the outside. I think that there was a big problem with McKeever with the nine months out. That showed it took him... Mate, he lost the first five rounds, he looked very rusty, he got into it in the second half of the contest. So that showed a little bit, but take nothing away from Dazzo Williams. Won the fight, boxed tremendously. Williams was the more accurate. Is that a sure sign throughout the fight? Is that a sure sign of a man whose eye is in better? Yeah, certainly. I think that's a sign of a man. When you win a title, it makes you a different person altogether. For when, once you become that champion, you get that air of confidence. And that showed in there tonight. He started off like the champion really took off from the first bell. The keeper was slow out of the blocks and, and Williams, you know, he just took on that. Three points, the uh, margin for the referee and John Lewis. Did that strike a, a, an accord with you? Yeah, did you perfect, see it that way? perfect. That's exactly what my score was. I had it about three rounds. Like I say, it was Dazza Williams won the first five rounds, McKeever won the next few, and then Williams took over again. I mean, McKeever was just... He just couldn't get going. But there, there was the just team. that point in the middle of the fight when you thought, you know, he could pull this and turn this round. <laughs> but we were sitting there, and I, I remember after five rounds, and then I think McKeever won the next three, and that's that little lion heart that he is, you know, never give up, keep trying, keep trying. But Williams was just too sharp. Do you see McKeever going up in weight now? I think that that was, again, another massive problem for him. He said himself there he may have outgrown the weight. We know that he struggled for a long time now to make nine stone. He struggled again here and a couple of attempts at those scales. He's only 24 years of age, believe it or not. He's been, it seems like he's been around a long time. Plenty of time left in, the, in his career. I think a move up to su super featherweight would definitely be the move. 